Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our Killing Eve Season 3, Episode 4 reaction. There's a lot that we got to talk through here. I am sad. I am not doing well. This is... We went through it in this episode, and I think we're still going through it now. There's stuff happening, and there are big spoilers within if you have not seen it yet. Absolutely. All right, well, if you guys do enjoy this discussion, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other updates. The chickens. Couldn't he have just been <laughs> left alone with the chickens? Let him live his innocent farm life. And, of course, I'm talking about Nico, who is now 99.9999% dead. Yeah, I mean, this was... <sighs> It, very difficult. I mean, it was a it was an amazing performance by Sandra Oh watching that murder happen in front of her. When I first saw Nico was going to be back this season, I was really surprised because I felt like his story had ended last season. I didn't know what the purpose of him coming back was going to be. Their relationship was over. There wasn't really. If I was Nico, I don't want to ever see Eve again. So then what is his purpose in the story? Now we have this. This was his purpose in the story. We have someone maybe from the 12. I think they're going to be from the 12. They weren't really introduced to us of who exactly they are. Somebody on the upper, upper, upper level of the 12. We'll call yeah. them that. Actually came to Dasha and said, listen, you need to get Villanelle in line. She's here. She's there. She's obsessed with Eve. We need to, like, reel this in. Which, in the first place, I was kind of surprised about. I've been kind of thinking that maybe Dasha was just playing Villanelle all season long and that it wasn't really about her getting to go home or any of this stuff. That Dasha maybe just had, like, a kill list. It was like, oh, yeah, 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 the... The 12 wants you back, wink, wink. But really, I need you to kill these people and then I'm going to dip out on you. So when this person showed up, I was like, oh, okay, I guess that theory's not right. Anyways, <laughs> so this is where we are. Yeah, you need to take care of it. Don't kill Eve, but make sure that they're done with each other. Enter Nico. I, I really need to know what this big boss, like what her sort of game plan is for Villanelle. Well, that's the part of this I don't fully get right now. And that, that's fine. It's a good mystery to sort of have, but it's important that we sort of know, okay, Dasha's answering to someone. She's trying to figure things out. People are manipulating Villanelle on some level with a number of different promises, whether yep. it is home, whether it is a promotion that she is willing to sort of dangle in Constantine's face as she almost kills them on whatever that, uh, I always want to call it a ski lift, though I know it's not a ski yeah. lift that they were on, but <laughs> it was a lot that was sort of going on with all of this, and as much as I hated losing Nico, I think how it happened was pretty awesome. There was a lot that was going on here. I enjoyed kind of the way that it all came together, Sandra's performance, like you said, but the motivation here, is this actually going to make Eve be like, you know what? I don't want to deal with any of this now. This is too much for me. This is the thing that's going to stop me, and I'm just going to get away from everything. Yeah, and I mean, I don't think it is. I would think it can go either way. It could be the thing that Eve says, okay, I'm done. This is enough. I've now got Nico killed, and I want nothing else to do with it. Or it's going to be the opposite. Oh man, now I got to bring Villanelle in. This has to, this is going to be the thing that's going to make me more obsessed with her because you killed Nico. So now we have this problem between us. And then you look at the other side of it, that even if Eve decides, okay, you know what? I am done with this. This is, this is the end. That doesn't stop Villanelle from doing anything. She is still going to be obsessed with Eve. Eve has told her to go away a bunch of times and she has never gone away. The main thing that I'm the most curious to learn about is if Eve is going to actually believe that this was Villanelle who did this. Because Villanelle has had multiple opportunities to kill Nico and has never killed him. And has in fact said that she knows that Nico's important to Eve and that if she kills Nico, Eve is not going to be okay with it. And so for that reason, Nico gets to live. 
So there's a part of me that's wondering if after sort of the shock of it all settles down and Eve starts to think about things, if she's going to, that sort of investigator part of her is going to start to kick in where she's like, this doesn't seem right. Something smells fishy. I don't think she's going to think the Villanelle did this. Like, I, I really don't. It just feels, it's going to feel just so strange that we're going to go from sort of every other extreme that we've seen with the Villanelle-Eve relationship to now this. And I know the Villanelle shot Eve. Like, I understand that she is capable of extreme violence, but that is like an outlier. Think about what she was doing elsewhere in this episode. There were cakes. Like, that is the way that she was communicating, which I was immensely sad when that cake got thrown off the roof. It was so nice. I liked seeing the difference between the cake that she bought and then the mess of the cake she was making at home. It was really ridiculous. The mess of that 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 cake that she made, that was my aesthetic. That was the that was a Matt Carter cake in look and feel. I like to think mine may taste a little bit better than apparently that one did. But you're, you're a, taste wonderful well thank you but uh but they do look like that yeah they look terrible but that is sort of but after all of that though my point is i guess just that the relationship between villanelle and eve villanelle wants to torment eve she wants to go to the metaphorical build a bear and put a message in there and she wants to continue the game because she likes the chase and i think eve on some level likes the chase and this takes it from being a chase to basically a sprint. And that's not the speed of their relationship. I don't think Eve is really going to buy it. I, I mean, she's still going to be devastated regardless, but... Yeah, I just don't know what the motivation would be. Like, how they would sell this to Eve. What is What would Villanelle's motivation be? She doesn't think, like that Eve is going to really necessarily get back with Nico. She's just, it's not enough. It's not a reason. The thing that I sort of wonder here is the next time we have a Villanelle Eve confrontation about everything, is this all going to come up? And are the two of them going to then sort of come together? Because I feel like Villanelle is the sort of person who would be incredibly offended if someone was to frame her for something and try to steal her trademark because she put so much stock in being so creative with strangling someone in a greenhouse and everything else that she does. Yeah, the other thing that I was kind of a bit disappointed in because I had been sort of waiting through episode one, through episode two, and finally we got to see Villanelle and Eve back together again in episode three, and then now nothing again. And this show for me really works best when I've got the two of them playing off of each other. These are the scenes that, that make this show really spark. I think that's why, and I could be terribly wrong, I'm hoping they go in this direction where Villanelle thinks there's a copycat of her and she gets so angry about it because that would be something to bring the two of them together. And they would have a central mission. They could sort of work together for a couple episodes until inevitably it goes really, really badly. Yep. But I, I, we don't know exactly what is going to happen, but it's, a, it's an interesting thought. So we also have to talk about Carolyn because we did get to see a little bit of her. We saw Constantin look like leaving her house, talking, whatever the, the relationship is going on with him and Geraldine. So she saw that. They kind of had a little bit of a discussion. Everything is very interesting with the two of them because it seems like the daughter is very still emotional about what's going on, what happened with Kenny. She's not over it, obviously. The mother is dealing with her grief in another way. And there was a moment there when Carolyn was going up the stairs to smother herself with a pillow <laughs> where she said, listen, like, if we're going to live together, we both need to be respectful of each other's privacy because we are both not telling each other stuff. I, the thing is with the Carolyn story, there's obviously some mistrust coming somewhere within here. It's just, it's, it's hard to know where exactly it's coming from. And really, I want to see more of Carolyn actively involved with Eve and more with sort of the big characters on the show. Like, I'm not really super into the Carolyn story so far this season, even though... Even though I understand fully where she's coming from. I mean, she did just lose someone she cares about immensely. You've got to be away from sort of your typical, 
your know, work environment, your, the, the way you typically act, it's going to change you and change you radically. It's I think I just, I want something a little bit more and I want her thrown a little bit more in the action, but the Constantine stuff of that sort of part of things is interesting because I don't really know fully what that guy is up to at the moment. Yeah, and the thing is too, is it's kind of about, <sighs> All of these characters have been split up for the a lot of this season. And we're on episode four. So yeah. there's only four more episodes left here with this. Yeah. So when are they going to bring everybody together? Let's have the team back together working on something together. We need the proper Killing Eve reunion. Get the, get the cast together. Give them more of a unified mission. Maybe it comes. Maybe now... Dasha ends up being sort of a centralized enemy. Maybe it is the big boss that I don't have a name for that I just call the big boss. Yep. But I think before we even wrap anything up, let's let's pour one out for Nico a little bit more. I I like this character. I think he is a part of a very dysfunctional relationship, obviously. He was not perfect, but I think it's easy to understand his anger and frustration and exhaustion with a lot of this when Eve got so distant from him. Like you, I don't necessarily think coming into this season we needed more of him, but it's like they explicitly brought him back just to kill him, which is almost even sadder in a way. Yeah. This was a very slow episode for me. I think overall this season has actually been kind of slow, and I think... A lot of it is coming from the fact that everybody's kind of split up. It doesn't feel like it has the same sort of flow that the first two seasons have had for me. Um, like this whole episode, the really the big thing is what happened with Nico. And yeah. this is a 40 minute episode. And this is really the main thing that happened in this episode. What else happened here for 40 minutes? Yeah, it is It is sort of one of these things where you look back at the Villanelle and Constantine conversation and it's like, okay, this is fun, but where is it going? And then you have the Eve kill in the greenhouse, which I don't want to say it's fun because it is a killing, but it is, where is it going? And yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing. We know that Constantine's going to get his hands on a file. We don't really know what's on it yet. He doesn't either. And we've learned that... Constantine has given Villanelle some information about her family. We don't know anything else yeah. about that either. But outside of that, it's kind of like, okay, we're watching Villanelle make a cake. Eve is throwing a cake over the side. Uh, Eve is washing in the sink and living at the office. Yeah. It's, you know, he's sharing cookies here, like eating corn pops out of a box. Like, we get it. So yeah. let's move the story forward. I will say this, out of all of the things that feel really weird to watch on television in this current era, the, the sharing of cookies has to be really, really high up on the list. I don't know if anyone's going to be sharing cookies anymore. No. But anyway, I guess, let us know what you thought about Killing Eve Season 3, Episode 4. Will you miss Nico? Are you surprised that Nico is dead? And if you did like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the store. And we'll see you here next time.